Hey, good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you something I came across while I was correcting a keychain assignment. This one happened to be Victor's. He did a good job, but there's something I'm going to have him fix. I want to show this to everybody because it's important for everyone to know. Most people have are familiar with the way a glue gun works, a hot glue gun. Uh, we feed glue sticks into it. When we pull the trigger, it pushes the glue sticks through, and then this part right here, it's not on right now, but usually this would be very, very hot, like it would burn you if you touched it. And when the glue sticks get pushed through here, the glue gets forced out of that tiny little hole in the front of it. Now, let's say that I told you, hey, draw your name on a piece of paper with the glue stick. You could totally do that, but you, it would be probably pretty obvious that you couldn't make any lines that were smaller than the size of that little hole, right? So no matter what, no matter how hard you tried, there's just no way to make a tinier line than the size of that hole. Does that make sense? It's kind of like on some pencils you get, you have really fine lead that's tiny, or you have thicker lead. And they're just really hard to, to make any length smaller than that with those, with those tools. Now, 3D printers work in a very similar way. Except at the end, I have the piece of it here. Usually this is connected to the robot and it moves around and it just draws with plastic. And essentially what happens is we have these spools of the filament. And just like we feed the glue sticks into the glue gun, the printer feeds this filament down in here and pushes it out this hot end. And usually when it's printing, this piece right here would be extremely hot, melting the plastic as it comes out. And just like the hot glue gun, it cannot make anything, ah, it's hard to, have my camera won't focus, but at the end of there, there is a tiny, tiny little hole. It's something like 0 0.5, not even, it's like half, not even, it's less, 0 0.4, less than half a millimeter wide. Now, when we print, it prints at about half a millimeter. So let's get back to Victor's keychain. The problem with Victor's keychain is, is these little lines. See these little tiny lines? They're very thin on the Pikachu outline. And I think this may be, maybe it started as a cookie cutter or something like that. But if we look here, those lines are way too small. Our printer, that little tiny hole that the plastic comes out of, it cannot make lines that small. So when the computer program goes to slice it up, let's do that right now, watch. Now what you're seeing is that you're seeing the actual lines that the computer will make to draw the shape out of, and build it out of plastic. And as it draws and draws and draws, the layers melt together and make your plastic keychain. But see, look what happens. Again, lines are there. Hey, great. But that's the preview mode. Look at this. When it actually goes to draw it, those lines are just too small for a printer to do. So what does the printer do? It goes, well, I can't make those. Just ignore them. Don't do them. They're so small anyways. So basically, Victor, you need to just, what, you, what I would do is go in, ungroup your keychain. I want you to delete. What Victor should do is delete this Pikachu and get something with more thick, large features that won't disappear. And you can see the same thing is happening to Victor's text a little bit, isn't it? You can see the, the, the lines that are really small on his text. So what I would do is probably go back and just put Victor and make it much larger. So hey, now we learned one limitation of 3D printers. We can all learn from this. That's why I put this on here. Thank you, Victor, for sharing your keychain with us. But I just put this on there so we can all learn one of the limitations. See this? The V has such a tiny little line in it when it goes to print, the computer just goes, ah, well, we can't make that line with this little tiny hole. So we're just gonna, we're gonna forget that. And look at Farias also. So those are a couple of things to keep in mind. And um, so I'll, I'm going to kick this one back to Victor, and he can resubmit it. And hey, when I do this, I'm not judging anybody. This is part of the process. It's natural that people should have a few things. Some people got it all right at once. We're ready to print. But it's quite natural to have a lot of things that need to be fixed on keychains. So anyways, I thought I would just share that. And hopefully this analogy between the hot glue gun making a tiny little line and the, the printer, even though it can make much smaller ones, it's still limited on what it can do in terms of the, the resolution or the size of it. And no matter how hard the printer tries, there's just no way to make a smaller line come out of that hole. It's like when you squeeze toothpaste. What if somebody told you, no, 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 just a tiny little thin line. That's really hard to do out of that toothpaste unless you put a, unless you put a 
cover that has a smaller hole in it. So, all right. Thanks, everybody.